Hey everybody, Glenn here, and I've got a pop in a box for you. For real this time, not something I purchased. This is a probably pop in a box classic because that's usually the first one I get in a month. So it's my three pop subscription. Let's see what we've got. Okie dokie, as usual, a ton of wrap. All right, looks like I got two from one set and one kind of independent one. Uh, we'll take out the sets ones first. Pop in a box, and I appreciate this about Pop in a Box. They do like to um, give you multiples of a particular set to help you grow a set instead of just random ones. So first one I've got is Dr. Smolder Bravestone from Jumanji, the new Jumanji movie. And there's only two pops in this set right now. And they sent me both of them. So that's cool. Um, this is number 494 from the Movies Collection. You see the box there. And there's the two on the back. And there he is. So this is the Rock's character from the movie. All right. There he is. Pretty easy pop. Pretty uh Simple pop figure. Um, what's important for these is anytime you have a one color head or a bald head, you kind of run the risk of having some scuffs or flaws or anything, but doesn't look like it here. Looks like really good paint job there. Um, I like the detail. They've got his outfit is kind of ruffled up, um, but he's got his gloves and his boots and his belt look really good. And there he is in the back. Again, not much to it, and, you know, um, there, it's not a really complex pop, but for what it is, they did a good job at it. So there's the Dr. Bravestone. All right, might as well do the other one. And this one is Professor Shelley Oberon. The other one, Jack Black's character. And what I can already tell from this one that I like is that he looks exactly like he does from the movie. Like the Rock character, you know, he doesn't really look like the Rock, but I'll tell you what, this looks like Jack Black. <laughs> this looks like so much like his character from the movie. It's pretty much spot on. I love the huge hat, the huge safari hat. That's the feature of this one, right? The glasses look great. Beard, the beard is a little bit different, not as neat as we've seen beards on other pops. So they did a good job of having kind of the scraggly look there. He's got his hands in his pockets. Um, he's a little bit portly, a little bit chunky there. So very, very cool looking pop. They did a good job um, on this one to make it look exactly like Jack Black's character from the movie. So that is number 495 from the movies collection. And the last one is not for me. The last one is from My Little Pony Movie. This is Twilight Sparkle Sea Pony, and it's for my niece, Abby. Um, I thumbsed up a lot of things that I thought she would like, which is a great, another great way to look at Pop in a Box. You could get surprise pops as gifts for other people, and I do that a lot. I have a lot of things thumbed up that I, basically from, my Little Pony or Five Nights at Freddy's that I would not have any interest in. But when they do come, they're cool for my niece. I'm not going to take this one out of the box. But it's Twilight Sparkle, Sea Pony, number 14. And she has now three out of the four. So she has Pinkie Pie, uh, what is that, Fluttershy, yeah. And now Twilight Sparkle. So very cool. She got two of them for Christmas, and now she's getting a third that's just a, a random gift from her uncle, so that's kind of cool. So, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this look at my Pop in a Box Classic this month. Um, if you would like to jumpstart your own pop collection, Pop in a Box is a great way to do it. You can check out the link below. And let me know in the comments below what you thought of my three gets this month. Um, as always, check out my social media off to the side. Hit me up on Twitch. I've got a lot of pops to give away for subs if you'd like to support the channel that way. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.